Hey everyone, in this video we will be using the unit circle to help us solve some simple trig equations. You already know how to use the unit circle to determine the exact value of the six trig functions at certain given angles. Uh, angles that are multiples of 30 degrees and 45 degrees or pi over 6 and pi over 4 radians. When solving a trig equation, all you're doing is reversing this process by starting with a known ratio and then working backwards to obtain the angle. Now, for these types of questions, you'll probably want to have a unit circle close at hand until you have mastered it to the point where you don't need it anymore. In this video, I will show you how to use a pencil and a unit circle to efficiently determine the solutions to basic trig equations. So let's go to some examples. Uh, here you see in front of you the unit circle. Um, let's say we want to solve the equation cos x is equal to root 3 over 2 where x is some value between 0 and 360 degrees. Okay, now basically what that question is asking is uh, since you know that the x-coordinate of each point on the unit circle corresponds to the cosine of the corresponding angle, then when we're solving for cos x equals root 3 over 2, you're basically looking for where the x-coordinate is equal to root 3 over 2. So what we can do is we'll start with a pencil and I've positioned it so that uh, it is oriented vertically through the origin. And so right now the x-coordinate is at 0, and what we want is where cos x equals positive root 3 over 2. So what I would do there is I could move the pencil to the right, because that's where the positive coordinates are, and here's positive half, positive root 2 over 2, and there's positive root 3 over 2. And I can see that the pencil intersects the unit circle in two spots. Okay. So one, once there and once there, if our domain is somewhere between 0 and 360 degrees, then those are my two coordinates where cos x, or the x coordinate, is equal to um, root 3 over 2. So my answers would be um, 30 degrees and 330 degrees. I apologize, I didn't um, render this unit circle in terms of degrees as well as radians, just radians, so I'm just kind of converting on the fly. Okay, so the answer to that would be 30 degrees and 330 degrees. Okay, let's do another example. Say now you are looking for where sine theta is equal to negative root 2 over 2, and you're looking for the radian measure of the angle this time. Okay, so where is sine theta equal to negative root 2 over 2? Well, sine theta is really the y-coordinate, and so really what we're looking for is at what angles would you find a y-coordinate on the unit circle of negative root 2 over 2? So for this one, you could go with a horizontal, uh, horizontal pencil. And what we can do is move this horizontal pencil in the negative direction. So right now I'm going in the positive direction. If I go in the negative direction, I'll be more likely to find negative root 2 over 2. And there it is right there. Okay, sorry, the pencil kind of uh, covers that up. But you can see that um, the two angles are 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. And so I will indicate that with the two terminal arms. So I've got 7 pi over 4, which is right about there, and 5 pi over 4, which is right about there. And so those would be my two solutions on the domain 0 to 2 pi. Okay, And it's as simple as that, right? Had we been looking for, let's say, sine theta is equal to negative half, then, of course, uh, I would have to adjust the pencil, and it would end up being uh, right around right around here, or sine theta is equal to root 3 over 2 would be up there. Okay, Okay, let's do one here now with tan. Uh, let's do one here where tan is uh, tan x is equal to negative root 3, and let's change up the domain a little bit. So it'll still be one full rotation, but let's start from negative pi all the way to positive pi. So where is tan x equal to negative root 3? This one's a little bit trickier, but still uh, fairly straightforward. Um, remember, tan is the ratio of the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll start with um, a pencil oriented horizontally through the origin. Um, and since tan is y divided by x, what I'm looking for is where is the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate equal to negative root 3. Something that can help me in this is, is knowing that uh, cast rule tells me that tan is somewhere in quadrants uh, tan is negative and is and uh, tan would be negative in quadrants two and four. Okay, so if I were to rotate this, tan would be negative root three somewhere in these two quadrants. 
Okay. Now the the interesting thing is is if I can make one end of the pencil point at a correct solution, then the other end will point at the other correct solution. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look here. So if I look right here, tan would be y over x, which would be root three over two divided by negative one over two. Uh, something that you should know that if you didn't know before is if you're dividing two fractions with the same denominator then you can actually just ignore the denominators right since they're both out of two or since they're both over two really the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate here is just root three over negative one which is negative root three which is precisely what we're looking for okay and at the other end of this pencil we also have a negative root three quotient if you divide the y coordinate negative root three over two by the x coordinate positive half Okay, so therefore one answer would be here and the other answer would be right here. Now remember the domain that I specified was between negative pi and pi. So this angle right here would be not quite pi, right? So that's within the domain, that's within the upper limit there. So that would be 2 pi over 3. Uh, this one here unfortunately is over pi. So the other way I can get it is if I were to go back rotate negatively so my other answer would be negative pi over 3. So the two answers are 2 pi over 3 and then negative pi over 3. Let's do maybe one last example while I have the uh, I'll call it the tan pencil on my screen uh, let's do one where we involve cotangent or the reciprocal of tan. So let's say cotangent theta is equal to um, 1 and let's make our domain between 0 and 180 degrees. So cotangent theta is equal to positive 1 in the exact same quadrants as tan would be positive. So according to cast rule, that would be in quadrants 1 and 3. Okay, so I'll start by rotating the pencil into this, these two quadrants. And cotangent would be x over y. Where is the quotient, the, uh, where is the quotient of x, the x-coordinate over the y-coordinate equal to 1? Uh, well, I didn't mean to actually put it right on the answer right there, but there it is, right? So uh, root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2, right? x divided by y, that's cotangent. That's equal to 1. And at the other end, we've got negative root 2 over 2 divided by itself, which is also equal to 1. So I've got two possible answers here. One is at, uh, we're going with degrees again, 45 degrees. And the other one appear, apparently is at 225. But at the beginning, I did say that the domain is going to be between 0 and 180 degrees. So this one here doesn't count because this here, 180 degrees, is our max. So between 0 and 180, we only have the one solution, which is at 45 degrees. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use the unit circle to solve some basic trig equations.